In May this year, during the State of the City address, I announced sweeping changes to the Johannesburg urban landscape. These included the introduction of high-density residential developments, which is already underway within an area dubbed as, or the areas dubbed as the new corridors of freedom. The approach is aimed at dismantling the apartheid segregation concept in which the black majority of our residents were confined in townships far away from economic opportunities. Supporting the developments we said will be new transport arteries which will bring communities closer to workplaces, schools and places of leisure. Today's launch of the RIA via Phase 1B is therefore a realization of that announcement. It is one of the 100 billion rents infrastructure investment program over the next 10 years that, and represents a decisive move away from private vehicle use towards public transport, bicycle routes, and pedestrian walkways. The new bus services are being rolled out on the government's transport month, which is October, progressively until February 2014. Users of this service will be able to access some of the key public hospitals like Raima Musa, Helen Joseph, and Charlotte Matreke, as well as private hospitals such as Brentest and Park Lane Clinic. The new bus routes will be an important support to Tobek's spatial master plan and campaign to transform entrenched apartheid settlement patterns and create a vibrant middle-class environment where everyone can feel safe. It will also enable us to achieve our vision of an integrated public transport system for Johannesburg, linking the Riavaya bus rapid transit system, Metro Rail, and Gauteng. 